DuvalSports.com. We're here with the head coach of Baker County, Jamie Rogers. Coach, a great win against Terry Parker. Just talk about your feelings after this victory. Oh, uh, you know what? We came out a little flat in the second one after the first Coast game. Um, I thought, but uh, you know, going down ten to nothing. But our defense uh, really picked it up. Got a couple turnovers down here in the end zone. Our offense was struggling a little bit. Defense got the ball back for them, and then we really took off. Um, hey, good, made a couple good runs down in there, and uh, put it away. You know, and it got twenty-one ten. It was a, uh, it was a good. You know, the way we persevered. The first half, you know, we got up and it was easy and it was fun. The second half was tough, down 10 to nothing going into the fourth quarter. We were able to win the fourth quarter, three touchdowns to nothing. Uh, very proud of our kids and the way they came back. Talk about uh, your running back, Hey Good. Yes. Uh, like you said, three three touchdowns in one quarter. Yeah. Just so talk about what contributions that you feel that he's, he's going to bring to the team oh, this no year. Question. I mean, how hard he runs the football. Um, his leg drive, he, he's a big 190 pound kid. Um, he's very tough to tackle, very tough to tackle, and uh, you know he runs that way in practice every day. So it it was no uh, it was no surprise to us tonight because that's the way he runs against us in practice. So uh, he did a really good job. Talk about the offensive line that Hager yep. will be uh, you know running behind. Just talk about some some uh, players yep. that that will be the focus of your line. Yeah, um, you know Travion 74, um, Cooper Hodges 71, uh, Griffiths, Kyle Griffiths, our uh, our center down in there. And, um, you know, our, we got some young guys. We got a ninth grader, Tyler Burns, at, at left tackle position. Um, he, you know, he's really big and, and, and looks like an upperclassman, but he's only a ninth grader. So, um, you know, those guys are going to get better. This summer, we got uh, three, three uh, months of solid lifting before we get back on the field. And uh, those offensive linemen uh, tonight, they really turned it on in the second half. Coach, you've got a nice, stingy defense. Uh, they're opportunistic. We saw them flying around, causing fumbles. Just uh, talk about your defense. Uh, you know what? Uh, early on, the, the first the first two quarters were uh, fantastic. They played with a lot of energy, a lot of effort. Uh, you know, they hit their stunts uh, with, with some good timing in the first half. Um, the second half, you know, like I said, we came out a little flat on offense. And all of a sudden, they hit a big play on us. We missed up a coverage over there. Uh, but our kids didn't panic. They come back, bam, got the sack, got the, the force fumble. And then very next play, I think, running back called it up and we were able to get on it, you know, for uh, to set us up inside the 20-yard line, I think, to go in again. So, uh, opportunities, you got to have turnovers. Turnovers win games. Uh, everybody, every coach knows that. Turnovers and penalties. So, uh, I, I think we won the turnover battle tonight in both games. I saw saw some of your players playing, you know, uh, both ways, yep. but talk about some of your defensive players that uh, will be, you know, uh, leaders for you yeah, this year. Number 25, Rod Haygood. Uh, fantastic uh, football player. He's always where he's supposed to be. Um, you know, he goes in there and uh, breaks on, on passes. Uh, he's a sure tackler, uh, always in the right assignment. I mean, he's our captain. And uh, Braden Sanders, 17, did a good job tonight in the defensive backfield. Nick Lee, number eight, he, uh, you know, he played really well tonight. Uh, the only thing we did, I mean, we messed up a couple coverages in the second half. I think the kids were getting excited. And they, they took their eyes off their keys, what they're supposed to be looking at. You're going to have that. We got some young guys. We got a lot of 10th graders on defense. So um, those guys will get a lot better over the summer. Last question, Coach. Uh, of course, the how and the Florida Senate passed the uh, bill yep. that, uh, that allows players to yep. transfer. Just talk about what's your feelings on that personally uh, and how will that affect your program if you know, uh, you know what? We're, we don't worry about it where we are. You know, 30 minutes outside of Jacksonville. Um, it's still unfortunate. I hate it for the guys in uh, in Jacksonville. Uh, Marty Lee's a great friend of mine. I know he. I know he's he's lost. Uh, First Coast has lost several players uh, to surrounding schools. I, I mean, I hate it. I like it. I like the fact of you know being able to to play with the guys that get off the bus. Uh, it's, it's a shame that now it's basically going to turn. And here's what's going to happen. It's going to turn into free for all recruiting. And, and head coaches are going to be forced into trying to go get the best players and this and that. And, and it's unfortunate that you got to do that. Um, you know, we've already we've already felt it a little bit. You know, some some guys that you know uh, that you're supposed to trust calling your guys and trying to get your guys to come over there. School is just that, that's just what it leads to. That's all. It, it's unfortunate. Coach, great win and good luck in the fall. Thank you, sir. I appreciate.